Today we'll be creating this map animation in After Effects. Double click on the project panel to open the map and hit OK. And go and create a new composition which is a full HD, hit OK. And drag and drop the map inside the composition and scale the composition like this by holding down shift and turn on this little gear icon so that you have a sharper image make it a 3d layer create a new solid and rename it to grid hit ok make it a 3d layer as well and go to the effects and presets and type in grid and drag and drop the grid effect on the new solid that we've just created all right let's change this border to point one and change these settings so that you have a little boxes like a graph box in the background like what i'm doing here select the grid and duplicate it by going to edit duplicate and shut off the eye for the previous one and change the border to 0.5 this time and change this corner this time so that you have a bigger graph boxes like what i'm doing here all right let's go ahead and create a camera layer new camera and i'll stick with 50 hit ok create a new null object make this a 3d layer and parent the camera to the null object like this select the grid hit p on the keyboard to bring up the position and move it towards the camera like this select the text tool and type in your text which is canada for me and change the color to white and place it in the map like this and make this a 3d layer and you can duplicate this by hitting ctrl d and change it to russia and change the position to russia without selecting any of the layers select the pen tool and draw a line from canada to russia like this lower the stroke to 5 collapse this go to the contents shape stroke and add a dash like this select the camera and the null and move it to the top select the null object hit p on the keyboard select the camera hit p hold down shift and hit a and make sure to turn on the 3d layer for the shape layer let's zoom the camera in and you can also change the different modes of the camera by hitting C on the keyboard and place it something like this you can hit C to change the different modes of the camera bring up the rotation for this null object by hitting R and change these Z values like this and hit C and reposition the camera like this again and you can always adjust the rotation of the null and also the camera for the starting point of the animation once you're done with the camera angle you can set a keyframe for the orientation and for the camera at the beginning of the timeline move forward to where you want to stop the animation and you can change the camera angle back like this hit c on the keyboard to change the different modes of the camera and you can adjust the rotation orientation of this null object and reposition it using the camera tool by hitting c like this and you can set the end point of the animation once you're done everything you can select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy ease and you can hit U to bring up and show only the keyframes select the shape layer collapse this and add a trim path like this and collapse the trim path and we're going to animate this endpoint set the playhead to the beginning of the keyframe set a keyframe for the end to zero and go to the last and set it to 100 and you have this simple animation all right let's go ahead and create a background create a new solid to create a background and go to the effects and presets and type in gradient and choose the four color gradient and drop that on the solid that we've just created and change these colors to your desired color i'm going to import the glass texture here 
and drag and drop it in the composition like this and make this a 3d layer and you can see here and i'm going to change the blending mode to screen and i'm going to hit p and change the z and move it to the negative values The last and final thing I did was adding a depth of field to the camera and setting the aperture and the focal length so that it focuses the text. The higher the aperture, the more blur you have in the composition. So you can adjust like this and you can also keyframe the focus distance and the aperture. And I also added a glow effect on the map and if you follow my steps correctly, you'll be getting this after you're done. That's all I have for this time. I hope you like this video. Make sure to check out these two videos as well. And I will see you in my next video.